What's the action plan on Carol, your beauty school drop on an and, uh, amateur chef? Today we're doing a special test kitchen episode with Mark, my favorite. The processor. The processor. We're making, uh, we're going to try smoky butternut squash and apple soup. I changed a couple items, uh, ingredients to make it a vegan recipe, and we're also going to make it in the Instapot. So I'm going to be right back to, after I turn the video around. Mark is going to start uh, peeling a couple of butternut squashes. And apples. And apples. So <laughs> we're totally changed this recipe. I got the recipe from Real Food with Dana's blog, and I like her a lot. She used to be all about Whole30. Now she's kind of not, but it's Whole30-ish. It's real. It's good food. I've gotten several recipes from her. There's, we've gotten a ton of good Whole30-ish recipes. Yeah. So we'll be right back. I don't want to hijack the show. Just one of them, though, right? No, both of them. Both the apples, just one. Both of the both of the squashes, because we got to use them up, and then. Yeah, that was my comment, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> might as well use both of them. <laughs> so. Um, what are you looking for? The little cutting board. That's right there. No, no, the blue, uh, the blue one or the vegetable one. Do you need that pizza box for our food scraps? Because that's what we do. Yes. We got to process here, people. So we need the room in order to process. Okay, so let's put this on the stove. Mark um, has full use of both hands, so he's better at the cutting of stuff than I am. He's a knife guy anyways. I like cutting things too. He does. Do you want to use my fancy knives that you got me? No, actually I don't. I'll use my own knife. And the thing about this knife is I bought it some time ago where it was given to me by my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. It's a Hankel, which I really kind of liked way back when. Um, now I like your knife because Japanese steel and it probably shouldn't be waving around in front of my face. That's not cool. But, um, this is gag. No. Are you just grabbing footage? I'm just You're filming. You're going to cut this shit out, right? <laughs> no, why would I do that? <laughs> it's silly and embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? I don't know. You're so awesome. Why would it be embarrassing? Thanks, darling. You remember that? TJ Maxx. Right around Halloween, they always get good stuff. So I'm going to stop filming now. We'll be back after Mark uh, does the processing and his work is calling again. For the love of God. So update on the squash. The squash is bullshit. Straight <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. It's like there's hardly any squash in there. You can't, we have you one... can't cuss on your channel. I can. Oh, I'm not. You my... hope your mom's not watching. I'm, it. I'm not. I didn't say the f word. <laughs> she don't watch my videos. Um. Well, I don't have. If she not... does. Thanks for the Roomba. I'm not even monetized anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Um. Yeah. It's like so... this is the crappiest squash I've ever seen in my whole life. Well. It's a good thing you don't have to cut it, huh, Carol? I know. That's why I appreciate your help. I would have just been like, screwed. I'm going to go get some shit that's already cubed at the store. And since I basically committed to my, I committed to it. I said we could scrap it. But uh, now now you're like challenge accepted. I was already, yeah, I was already thrown down on now it. Now you're all mad. <laughs> <laughs> Completely irate. You're all mad with this Can't crappy you see squad. Can me out of the side of my head? I... <laughs> I can't. Uh, well, maybe this maybe this one will be a little more fruitful. Yeah, these are bullshit. All right. All right. All right. Welcome back. Uh, Mark has completed the tasks. Chop, chop. And so now I'm going to step in and do the makings part. Oops. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've never... The only, honestly, mostly the only thing I've really been making with the Instapot is uh, hard-boiled eggs. They make perfect hard-boiled eggs. Let me get you a position so you can see what I'm doing. It's out of my way. Space. I know. Someday we'll have space. This is not. Yeah, it's not exactly my dream kitchen, but, you know, it's a kitchen. Okay, so welcome back. It's been on. <laughs> I'm trying to get... So you can see the pot. There we go. Cats are being crazy. Let's I'm going to skip doing the dishes until you're done filming. Okay. So I need to do two. Okay. 
two teaspoons. Well, it asks for two tablespoons of ghee, but since I'm changing this to a vegan recipe, I'm going to do two tablespoons of olive oil. One, it's roughly about, you know, cooking, I do what I want. Um, I'm supposed to turn it on saute, and I'm going to saute the onions and the butternut squash in here. So saute button right here. Again with the thing from Safeway. Now, we didn't exactly do the right me measurements for this. We're doing more. So I'm trying to get rid of what I have. So before it goes bad. Alright. So let's start sautéing. And it doesn't really... Oh, 10 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer. get it going. So I'm going to go ahead and set my time for 10 minutes and I'll be right back with you. So now I've been sauteing the onions and the butternut squash in on saute for 10 minutes. I'm going to put in apple. Um, it was a recipe, original recipe called for two medium apples, but this is one big ass honey crisp apple. And honestly, I've gone off the reservation with this recipe already. So I encourage you to go to the Real Food Dana web uh, blog because she has recipes there and she's probably more orderly than I am. So now we're putting in, well, it's going to be three total cups of, um, I put vegetable broth. The original recipe is for three cups of chicken broth. So, you know, I'm changing it up. We're going, trying to go vegan, right? Well, it's going to be a vegan, that's why I did it, because yeah, to have a vegan recipe. Making a vegan specific. For my vegan friends. Yeah. I like to have a little something for everybody. And so now it's, it, the recipe says one cup of coconut milk. I'm just going to dump this whole can in here. Because then I have stuff left over and I don't want to mess with that. I ain't got time for all that. So a can of coconut milk, uh, the native forest kind. Buy it by the case on Amazon. Cheaper that way. And then it says one tablespoon of minced garlic. So I'm just going to do a tablespoon of garlic paste. This is going to be garlicky AF. I mean, I have regular garlic, but I'm being the lazy ass. And I don't, I don't, I have no shame in my game. You shouldn't, because when it comes time to eat that, it doesn't taste any different to me. Nope, good. I love it. I love to hear. And then also I need to put in a half teaspoon of smoked paprika. And we're getting low on smoked paprika, so I should put that on the list at some point. There's that in there. I'm going to give it a little stir. Very interesting. So now, the fun part is we're going to put the, the lid on and go to the soup function. Got the turn on the soup. And then we'll put on soup for 30 minutes. Um, it's got to pressurize and everything before it starts actually cooking. So I'll be back for the big reveal. And welcome back again. We are releasing the pressure from the Instapot. And then I got my immersion blender ready. Please alert, not sponsored. Though I should be. We need to wait for the pressure is gone, and then I can uh, see what we got. Who even knows? We'll find out momentarily. So this is the, the slow release. Then I can open it up. 
So like I said, please uh, check, I linked the website where I got the original recipe. Please check that set out if you want to make it like it's allegedly supposed to be done. Instead of, instead of the Carol Seal way, Carol Seal Action Plan way. It's taking forever to release. It smell, can you smell it though? Yeah, totally. Does it smell good? We're unsure. We'll find out. But I did find an Instant Pot goat curry recipe and one of the Facebook groups I'm on. And so I'm gonna we're gonna try to make that soon. The goat goat curry. I'm looking forward to it. Because I am a Capricorn, so yeah. I did not plan to be up this late, so and I was gonna film a makeup while I wake up in the morning so I might have to just get this made and get right the hell to bed there we go Mark do you want to come look at it yeah it's gonna be hot as shit That if it gets to be too too vegan for me, I'll throw some of my Gruyere sausage in well, there. Well, you should. I, I have no, no problems with that. Carnivore from way back. This might take a minute to. If it gets to be too much. Huh? I was just. I'm like. I'm like yeah. Alright, I'll be back when I'm done uh, blending all this. So we, here's the uh, finished soup. I garnished it with uh, some pumpkin seeds. And there's Mark with the Zumi, otherwise known as Lil Face. Lil Face, we're weighing her. We're going to weigh, oh, we're weighing her because she's been throwing up some. So we want to monitor that. All right, thanks again for watching Carol Seal Action Plan. And... Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Let me know if you try this. Again, I encourage you to check out the Real Food Dana blog. Because she, she does it the correct way. I do it the jacked up Carol Steele action plan way. <laughs> Have a good night.